Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we see the SR ledge using the NAND gate. Okay. SR ledge using NAND gate. We saw using the NOR gate uh, in the previous video. And today we see it using the NAND gate. We have a basic, uh, we have just one difference. And you will see it when. Okay, so the, I draw the structure of it over here. It is like, or not like this. Okay. Yeah, it's now it's perfect. One input over here, one input over here. This is feedback over here again. And this one is feedback to the first gate. Okay? Now the difference. The difference between that and this is, uh, first, the similarity. The similar is this is a Q and this is a Q complement. And the difference is the interchange of S and R positions, all right? We have S and R different positions at these in, in, in this latch, okay? So we're using the NAND gate, so uh, let me draw the truth table for NAND gate. A ended with B. Whole complement, that is what a NAND gate is. The inputs are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And the outputs are 1, 1, 1, and 0. You know that. Now, a very basic property that anything ended with 0, uh, nanded with 0, is a 1. From the first two, you see. 0 with a 0 is a 1. 0 nanded with a 1 is a 1. Which means A nanded with a 0. A nanded with a 0 is equal to 1. Now this is the most important property that we will be using in this in this latch, all right? Okay, so now we take different values of S and R and we see and we have another difference also, okay, in this SR latch, not over here, but we'll be discussing it here. So first, let's say, uh, I start writing from here. First, let's say I have the value of S0, R1. So now I analyze this circuit for the value of Q and Q complement. Okay, so if you have this S0 and this R1, okay, now from this property you will be using 0, so the other is whatever it is, the output would be 1. So Q is 1 in this case, now this 1 is reflected over here as a feedback and 1, 1 will give you a 0. So this Q is 1. And Q complement is 0. Fine? Okay. Now we do what? We check for the memory state. Either it's storing this 1 and 0 or not. So how do we check? Previously in the NOR gate, we checked by removing the inputs. By making S equal to 0 and R equal to 0. Here, we have to do the opposite. Here we do what? We provide a high state at both the inputs. We make... I mean that we make S is equal to 1 and we make R is equal to 1 and now we check either it is working or not. So this is already 1, now we make this S a 1. Okay, now what happens now? So. If you uh, bring that one first, let's say, so this one node with one will result in a zero, one nanded with one will result in a zero, and now this zero will be given as a feedback over here, so this one uh, node with zero will result in a one, which means that again we have the same values, that is Q is stored as one and Q complement is stored as zero, which means that this is working as a memory. And the memory means what? That the previous state 
has been retained. All right. Now for case number two, let's say I make this S equal to one and R equal to zero. And we check for Q and Q complement. So which means we have to remove these inputs. All right. I remove these and these outputs as well. Fine. Now, uh, what S is 1 and R is 0. So, what do we have now for 0? Anything or landed with 0 will result in a 1, which means we have the Q complement equal to 1 in this case. Now, this 1 would be reflected over here and for a feedback and 1 with 1 will result in a 0. Alright, so which means over here we have Q equal to 0 and Q complement equal to 1. Now again we provide the high signal, we provide S equal to 1 and R equal to 1 and we check for the values of Q and Q complement. Alright, so S is already 1 which means we check for R equal to 1 now. Okay, so both of them are now 1. Alright, now if you have a 0, 1, let's say I take this Q, this 0 value, this comes back as a feedback over here. So 0 and it with 1 will result in a 1. Alright, and now this 1 when goes back as a feedback, so 1 with 1 will result in a 0, which means we have the same state, the previous state has been retained, and again we proving that this uh, high states for both of them are acting as a memory. All right. Now the final case, the third case, when both of them are low. When S is low and R is low. So what do we have the values of Q and Q complement? All right. So uh, let me have these removed okay so we have a low state for s and the low for r what now anything landed with zero will be one so which means this implies over here as a one and this implies over here as a one also so we have the value of q as one and we have the value of q complement as one which is wrong. Why? Because Q and Q complement cannot be the same. If Q is 0, Q complement has to be 1. If Q is 1, Q complement has to be 0. In this case, we have both of them the same, which is wrong. From here, we, we can conclude that this is an invalid state, but uh, let's say we check for the memory state as well. If we make both of them high, S is equal to 1, R is equal to 1, and now we check for Q and Q complement. All right, so what do we have? Uh, so I make this high, both of them. So if this is 1 and this is 1, all right, now take any one of them. Let's say first I operate Q, all right, first taking Q. Okay, first Q. By first taking Q, I mean that first I take this Q as a feedback. So this one will be reflected here. Now one one will give you a zero. So this Q complement becomes a zero. And now this zero when comes over here. So one zero becomes a one. All right. So if you take first the Q, so which Q becomes one and Q complement becomes zero, all right? Now, if you take first Q complement, all right, because this seems fine, so we have to confirm it further. By this first, I mean what? Uh, I mean the feedback, all right? If I take the feedback first. So, so I, let's say I remove this. Okay, we had a 1 over here also, previously. Okay, now this was the original state. 
Now what do you do? Let's say I feed this one as the feedback first over here. So this one one would now result in a zero at the Q and now the zero one here as a feedback is treated. So zero one will give us a one which means that now this Q is zero and this Q complement is one. So which again has something wrong. We are treating the same thing in two different ways and it's giving us a wrong answer. We concluded from here that it is an invalid state, definitely, but we wanted to confirm it and now it's confirmed that when both the states, both the inputs are at low state, S is equal to zero and R is equal to zero, this is an invalid state. Invalid state which means that we are not going to use it. This is a not used state, all right? And now we draw a truth table as previously we uh, drew for, for the NOR gates and similarly we draw it over here also, okay? So we have the two inputs S and R and the two outputs are Q and Q complement, all right? Now, if it's a zero, zero, so we've just concluded that this is the not used state, invalid state, okay? Now, if it's a zero, one, so it's for zero, one, you have Q equal to one and Q complement equal to zero. For one, zero, you have Q equal to zero and Q complement equal to one. And finally, for one, one, you retain the previous state, memory. And memory means what? To store to retain, to store the previous state. All right, so that's all about it, okay? That's all about the SR latch using NAND gates, all right? And I hope that is clear. And I also hope that you have subscribed to the YouTube channel, okay? So I'll see you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And do subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.